The first step in the editing process is to look at or preview your footage. Previewing a clip is simply a matter of clicking on the clip in the contents pane. Then click the play button at the bottom of the preview monitor. You can also just double click on the clip to load it in the preview monitor and it will automatically start to play. Every editing system has several ways to go about doing things and Windows Movie Maker is no exception. With Movie Maker there are two popular ways of selecting the parts of a full video clip that you want to use in your movie. One way is to preview the clip and then choose the part you want by using the split button in the lower left hand corner of the preview monitor. This will break up the clip into separate pieces that show up in the contents pane as new clip thumbnails. Then you just drag the portion you want into the storyboard timeline pane. After you add your clip to the movie, you can rejoin the pieces of your video back in the contents pane to put it back the way it was originally by selecting them in the contents pane and then choosing combine from the clip menu at the top of the screen. The only problem with this method is that your contents pane can get very messy very fast and it can add a lot of extra work for you as you edit. Another way is to use the storyboard. First, make sure you have the storyboard view selected from the pull down menu. Next, drag the whole clip in the contents pane to the storyboard. Now you can arrange them in the order you want in the storyboard by clicking on the thumbnail and dragging it to the new position. If you want to use a clip more than once, or to use different portions of it, you can add it to the storyboard as many times as you want. Once you have your clips on the storyboard in the order that you want, it's time to get rid of the sections of those clips that you don't want. This is accomplished by trimming your clips. The best way to do this is to switch to the timeline view and click the rewind timeline button located on the right of the storyboard and timeline pull down menu. Next. Begin playing each clip. When you get to the beginning of the portion of the clip you want to keep in your movie, stop playback and choose Trim Beginning from the clip menu, or press the I button on your keyboard. Then play the clip until you get to the end of the portion you like, and choose Trim End from the clip menu, or press the O button on your keyboard. Zooming in and out of your timeline can help you be more precise when it comes to trimming which will hide the video that you don't want to see in your film. You can fine tune your trims by first selecting on the clip in the timeline and then clicking on the edge of either the beginning or the end of the clip you want to adjust. When you click on the end of a clip, you need to make sure that you see the cursor change to a red double headed arrow with a small box over one end of the double arrow. The box should be over the clip that you want to adjust. You can also navigate to either end of the clip by pressing the left and right arrows to go to the clips you want to work with. Finally, just drag the end of the clip to the left or to the right to lengthen or shorten it. There's another way to get rid of a portion of your clip in the storyboard you don't want. First, follow the same steps as with the trimming method we just talked about, but instead of trimming the beginning and the end of the clip, you can use the split button and delete the portion that you don't want. You can use the split command, for example, if you want to have someone on camera saying something and then you want to cut to a shot of what they're talking about while you still hear that person talking underneath the new shot. You want to do this first by splitting the clip of the person talking, then you drag the second part of the clip to the audio music track of the timeline by placing it underneath the video clip that you want to see. Movie Maker will automatically delete the video portion of the clip and play the audio underneath it at the same time it plays the audio and video that you're seeing. The disadvantage of using the split command is that you can't extend a clip on the timeline beyond the place where it's been split, unlike using the trim beginning trim end commands which give you access to the entire clip after you've trimmed it. One last thing about editing, save your work. Anytime you do something that you want to keep, save your work by choosing save project under the file menu or by pressing Ctrl and S together. There's nothing worse than getting your movie to look just like you want and losing all of your work because your computer crashed. In the next lesson, we're going to look at how to add music to your movie.